Hey you guys, how's it going? It's um, it's Rolex time. So wristwatch check, Rolex Milgauss, and I met the, the Rolex website. I was taking a look, you know, at um, at models that intrigued me, that piqued my interest, and I've done reviews on on the watches I have, but. Uh, I'd like to just, you know, take a look at watches that I, that I do not have and um, maybe potentially my own one day down the line. Uh, oh, what's interesting? You know what? Let's talk about this one, the Rolex Air King, since I'm wearing my milk outs. Uh, the Rolex Air King, highly, um, I say it was, I don't know if it was well received. Um, I guess it's a, a, a little bit controversial. Some people love it. Some people love it. Some people don't care very much for it. Uh, some people dislike it. And uh, yeah, how, uh, how do I feel about it? Um, it's pretty much a Milgaus. Right, it's a Milgaus with a brush case. Um, I would have to say I'd rather have the Milgaus than the than the Air King. Right, it, uh, I would never own this Air King simply because I have the Milgaus and it's pretty much the same watch. Right, just with a different dial, and uh, the Milgaus just looks a lot more, just looks a lot more cool, a lot more funky. Right, mine has a green dial, it's an orange thunderbolt hand. Okay, it's not for everybody, but I like the contrast. Uh, I like its quirkiness, and uh, the 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 Air King just doesn't quite do it for me. You know, it's it's a it's a you know it's, it's a Rolex Milgaus with an Explorer dial with the Air King text and uh, and you know a green green color a green Rolex font and yellow crown uh, just feels a little bit feels a little gimmicky you know I, I don't quite like it it's a bit it's a bit busy like five with you know with all the numerals around it and um, it's not for me, right? I'm sure people love it. I'm sure people love the watch. Uh, for for me, it's um, it looks a little bit confused. It looks like uh, you know, it, it looks like a blend, right? Like you want you know, it's it's like a blended blended Rolex, right? You throw in a little bit of Milgaus, throw in an Explorer, uh, throw in a, an Air King. Uh, add some green, add some yellow, boom. Right, add some lime, add some, add some lemon. <coughs> boom, you got the, you got the Air King. Uh, it doesn't look like it has its own, um, its own identity, its own DNA. Um, I mean, Air King is, is a very, uh, it's a very uh, iconic line in the Rolex uh, collection, uh, but. You know, there's, it used to be a 34 mil watch and now it's gone up to 40. And, um, yeah, I can't, can't say that, that I'm a fan. I don't think, I don't think the dial has loom. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think, I think only the, the hours, minutes and seconds hand has loom. And maybe the 12 o'clock uh, triangle. Other than that, I believe it's all white gold. Uh, and print so sorry uh, that doesn't quite do it for me I mean uh, the only way I will uh, own the Explorer is sorry see I, <laughs> see I call it the Explorer already the only way I'll own the new Air King is if I sell my Milgaus which uh, which isn't happening anytime soon but who knows right um, maybe the maybe these watches would skyrocket in value if uh, if, roll, if no one buys them, 
and Rolex decides to discontinue it. That's the only way I see it being collectible because as is, it's it's a, it's a blended Rolex, All right? Um, Seven thousand one hundred U.S. dollars. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's my thoughts on the Rolex Air King. Thanks for watching. Bye.